What's going on, all you sports and gambling fans out there? Today, NCAA basketball betting is what we're talking about. And joining me here is Dave Golikov, our SBR contributor. And the game we're looking at here is the Utah Utes going up against the Oregon Ducks. Now, the first time these two teams met this season was back in February the 22nd, and Utah lost that game 69-58. to Now, Utah also lost three of its final five regular season games and struggled early in yesterday's matchup against Stanford before outscoring the Cardinal 47-16 in the second half and cruising into an 80-56 victory. But if they really want to have a shot against the Ducks, which player or players actually do you think that might have to step up in this case, uh, Dave? Well, for Utah, I don't know that it's necessarily one specific player opposed to a team-wide effort, especially at the defensive end. This is a team that uh, at times has been incredibly dominant this year. Just, you know, fantastic uh, start, 21-4 and four overall, 11-2 and two in the conference. And then things kind of went sour for them. Um, and really, again, the reason it's not necessarily one specific player, it was – it was a team-wide effort. It was a lack of energy. That you know, it started with the loss to Oregon. Then they lost. Uh, you know, they basically lost three of five to end the year, as you mentioned. It was really more about energy, about performance, hustle. Uh, at least in my opinion, than anything else. You know, of course, losing to Arizona, nothing to be embarrassed about. But and even losing at Oregon, not a big deal. But uh, you know, at Washington wasn't a really good look for this team. So. Why I like Utah in this spot is because it seems like things got back on track against Stanford. You know, we heard about Larry Chris Kowiak, the other Coach K, uh, tearing a strip off his team after the loss to Washington in the re regular season finale. He just went ballistic on his team. And, you know, it, it seems like it, they, they finally listened to him. Like, they needed a wake-up call, and, uh, and maybe it didn't happen until the second half against Stanford. So maybe he, you know, he went bananas on them in the halftime locker room again. But it seems like they finally listened to him. And this is a very strong defensive team. And they're going to need that defense today against, uh, you know, a strong Oregon team, uh, a strong offensive Oregon team. But I, I think that's the main factor for Utah is that we finally saw them come back to life and play like the team that we saw in the first 25 games this season. So that's the main case for Utah here, in my opinion. All right, now on the other side of the hardwood, we have the Ducks who come in riding a six-game winning streak. And they were able to dispatch the Colorado Buffaloes yesterday, 93-85. to Now they've won the last three meetings between these two teams. Do you expect them to get the win in this spot too? Well, I actually like Utah here, but uh, I mean, listen, there's a really good case to be made for Oregon. You know, this is a team that's won six straight, 10 of 11. Uh, offense just looked fantastic against, uh, against Colorado. Uh, Joseph Young, Pac-12 Pac Player of the Year, you know, went 12 of uh, 22. Uh, what do you have, 30 points in that game. Oregon's a pretty good team themselves. Uh, you know, they might not be, I don't, I don't think they're ranked in the top 25, but they're not far off. Uh, this is a team that's uh, won 24 of 31 games, 13 of 18 in the conference. I mean, if you're betting, it's really, again, it's kind of a, Pick your own poison game. This is a, it's a close call here, but if you're betting Oregon here, you're betting that Utah uh, is going to play more like the team that uh, you know in the in the preceding five games, opposed to how they played against Stanford in the quarterfinals. If you if you think that uh, that that Oregon's offense is is going to you know stay hot, uh, and uh, and Utah, if pardon me, if you if you think that Utah's defense is going to slump like they did in the final five games of the year, then it's easy to bet Oregon here and expect their offense to take control against uh, Utah's defense. That's that's really, it's a, it's a classic offense versus defense matchup. And Utah, if they're not going to show up like they did in the second half yesterday, they might get run off the court. Uh, so really, that's the case for Oregon. I mean, their, their team is playing well offensively, coming off a very strong offensive effort, all five scores in double digits. You know, if, you're, if you believe in their offense uh, and you believe that they're going to have more energy and more effort and more hustle than than Utah, then you definitely take them on the points here. All right, man. Now it's where it gets interesting. Now Utah is being favored by eight and a half points, and uh, it kind of looks like it's the play. I mean, uh, looking at some trends, uh, Utah comes into the when Utah comes in favored uh, by three up to twelve points, they've gone ten and three, while Oregon at, in that same range is just four and five as a dog. 
So, I mean, should we actually be laying those eight and a half uh, points, Dave, or maybe consider grabbing the eight and a half? I, I mean, I don't know. It's a really tough call here. Well, it, I think the, the, the fact that the line is where it is tells you a whole lot. Um, you know, there's, there's not a whole lot of difference. Both teams have 24 wins on the year, but one team is ranked in the top, uh, you know, what is Utah, 17, top 25, um, and the other is not. And the real difference is how these teams perform um, in terms of their schedule. Utah's had a tougher schedule. They are 16 and 7 against teams with a winning record and, uh, and 15 and 8 against the spread in that span. Uh, Oregon is just 10 and 12 this season against teams with a winning record. So that's a, t a telling sign for you right there. You know, Oregon's hot, but I think that Utah, we're going to see more of what we saw from them in the second half against Stanford. This is a team that wants to carry that momentum into the tournament. So I'm going to uh, recommend taking, uh, pardon me, laying the points with Utah here and expecting their defense to show up in a big way and, and for them to win and cover here. All right, man. Good stuff, Dave. Thanks a lot for all the insights, the pick here. We'll talk again on Monday. Everyone else, don't forget to check back with Dave tomorrow for some more sports coverage and your free picks. Till then, for SBR Picks, this is Dax Floyd.